Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a fun sketch of the Star Trek salutation. And it's like this, so very simple. We have done quite a few uh, uh, sketches uh, that are factoring on anatomy of the hand, but so this one has an additional purpose and as you know that I I believe that this particular salutation or gesture signifies uh, goodwill that means that uh, I believe it's live long and prosper but people might have their own versions but in any case whatever the message it's good positive and it is conveyed through this expression so we have an oval going there might as well put an oval here for just the fleshy parts of the hands and then we'll have two curves like that so like a bird kind of thing for the thumb and we will put in an arc right here just so much apart the hand could be a little shorter could be a little longer every hand differs put in a curve like that so if you have all those things in place we will then go and put in one small finger you can start with the index finger also but it doesn't really matter as long as you get there everyone has their own different ways of getting around to this so I am putting in those four lines for the fingers and we will figure out uh, how much apart they are and how fleshy they are and how detailed as we go along so I'm beginning to do that with this on the side so I come in I put in the required skin folds because the hand is in this case bent a bit toward the outer wrist right here and some folds here and then I go and try to get the thumb going so right around the line manage to put in the thumb going into the fleshy part again and going outward with that curve and then let's do sausages again the best way so one two three try to like lean it like inward and then a little bit of space perhaps just for character one two this finger is taller so let's get that going for us and three so you've done a set of sausages or peanuts whatever you want to call them and then of course we will refine it as we go along and then we stretch the skin here between and go in, into this guy so one two three we have to make sure we have to make sure that this one taller than the index finger not taller than this guy here so I think that will do and then let's bring in this guy inward I'm not going around the line there as you notice that I brought him in closer two and right around there three and then of course when you have all the peanuts or the sausages worked out you can go right around join it all up and just make sure that each finger has just a little bit of separation in between and you could even like change some portions because you're looking at this from different angles if you do this this shows if you're like this it doesn't show so you know try to like play around a little bit you know to make this like really work for you in the way you think it will uh, represent this uh, gesture best and I think that we're almost done there and 
that's pretty much it for the core sketch of this gesture so of course the remainder is some details so we have skin folds right there as you know that the skin folds go like right through the fingers been doing some work and uh, have my hands are a little rough from that but still beautiful and useful for gestures for working and sometimes I think I mentioned it before in one of our videos on hands taken for granted so I'm taking all these details down some skin folds not going overboard and then we go into a light source let's say that there's a light source from above and the rule of thumb is that we go around the flesher parts that are beginning to stray away from the light and sketch around them some tones and some crosshatch if you will same rule really applies here to the thumb in this case depending on the texture of the skin really it it might differ I'm putting in a bit of the nail there I've shown this from a certain angle and you don't necessarily need to show that the thumb could be just like that all the way or it could be like this with the nail showing a little bit so it depends so we'll just cut a happy medium in between and then keep going wherever there is supposed to be a sort of an indent now all the structure of the hand around this sketch might not be the same for everyone it it might vary going with the flatter edge here around these areas because it's all a tone and I would actually recommend that if it's a quick sketch that you want to do and you want to just like you know do uh, more expanded surfaces like here you could really go with the flat tip and just go all out on the shading and putting those tones quickly and effectively and of course this is the beauty of working with a pencil that you could always erase something and correct it something that you think is not uh, fitting enough for the image that you wanted to achieve so again going around those uh, bulges of course make sure that you have a bit of the shadow going between the fingers as well in this case for instance right here Alrighty, so that is pretty much the core exercise. The tones and everything you'll have to like do model your own hand and see how the lighting like you know works for you. Might work differently and might work close to this, but every hand is different and every hand is capable of different and amazing things so like this amazing and very popular gesture and there we have it so 
an oldie to start track and a hand gesture for a salutation from the Star Trek universe. Do, do try it out. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe. Keep in touch. Have yourself a wonderful day.